Okay, let's start the fire. We're doing it in the fire pit today. Um, and yes, we're not really doing it classic old school style. Um, so I'm gonna chuck a few of those fire lighters in there. Um, yes, we started it with this thing. I love this thing. I still have to do a video on it. Then I'm gonna put on my horrible old burned out chimney. You see, that's pieces of wire. So I'm gonna put that over there, chuck some charcoal in there, and then we're gonna just do uh, frankfurters that we're gonna eat in buns, like hot dogs. Delicious. G'day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife verifications and outdoor stuff with knives. There was actually a lot of new things I wanted to show you, but I decided against that because today is Sunday and this is a Sunday video, which means we're doing nothing. Okay, anyway, this thing, the Pickled Steel Maverick. I love this thing. Liners, so thick you can call it a fr frame lock. And then we have this beautiful scalloped G10 over here. And we have a D2 blade. We have a wonderful flipper tab, which works like a champion. We have thumb studs with enough traction to pull you out of thick mud. We have wonderful jumping. This is a great knife. And it's a huge knife. Now, if you want to see the full review on this knife, please go check the actual review. Now, I want to show you this thing. This is the... Look at it, that's a para 2. Small little para 2. Okay, this is the um, military 2 with the compression lock. Now, I love this thing. This is an awesome knife, huge knife, fat knife. Look at this. They are exactly the same size. Wait, let me just move that back. Here we go. Exactly the same size. Okay, so the military 2 this thing same size now when you buy a military two you're gonna pay very close to five thousand rand for that here in south africa it's two hundred dollars and remember when we buy things in south africa it's more expensive when you buy this knife from pickled steel it's gonna be like 800 rands i need more of these knives anyway we have a T8 over there and T6s everywhere else. I would have liked it if this was like, I don't know, T8s and T10, but who cares? It still works. We have a beautiful knife. We have a nice tip. The tip is... Do you hear that? It is thumb skin grabbingly awesome. And this thing is slicey and sharp let's see if we have a spot that's not bald yet anyway and yes it does cut arm hair like a champion and now i have a freaking new bald spot right over there anyway um i look like something with diseases on me anyway wonderful knife big knife perfect knife for everything I know we can do lots of things with small knives, and that is the truth. But you can do so much more with a big knife. You're not going to skin a yak with a pocket folder. You're going to use something big like this. And yes, this does look like a Danto shape. I'm not sure what they call this. Almost harpoon, drop point, Danto-ish. Knife blade shapes are getting so into the rough these days, we don't really know what to call them. But anyway, there at the bottom, that little extra point over there, if you sharpen this thing two times, that's going to be gone. Okay, and then you're just going to have belly. Either way, this thing is marvelous. Okay, um, if you want to close this thing, don't go too far back because then it's a guillotine. So you need to get it right up to there and then you can shake it close. Do you see that? But once you've played with this thing for a while, it becomes second nature. It is a heavy knife, but it's an awesome knife. Okay, um, I think that's enough 
talking about a knife that I actually already showed you before. Anyway, so let's do something. Today I want to, um, actually we're just going to make hot dogs, like frankfurter and cheese hot dogs. I'm going to do that. So if you want to follow along with that, please do. Otherwise, otherwise see you later. Okay. Fire. And it's very hot. It's extremely hot where I live right now. I'm dying. It's thousands of degrees. Metals melting outside. It's ridiculous. No, it's not that bad. But it's that bad, almost. Anyway, so... I'm going to wait for this to die down a bit because I'm only doing like frankfurters on the fire. So this is a bit of overkill, but it makes me happy. Okay, I think this is cold enough now because I forgot about it. I'm going to put this on there. That's my same cake rack from last time. So I'm going to chuck my frankfurters on there now. Okay, over here I have grandma's casserole and these things. Um... Simply chicken franks with cheese. Okay, and I hope I said enough awesome things about this thing because I love this thing. I'm sure I cut like six francs by doing that because this thing is just a cutting beast. Okay, so I'm going to put these on the fire and then yeah, maybe I'll show you something else. Okay, so look at this. Exactly the right size for six of these guys. Um, my wife needs one, my kids are not eating these, so I'm going to eat five, which is good because today we are playing South Africa rugby, and but it's only at nine, so I need lots of sustenance to stay alive until then. Okay, so this is nice. I'm sitting here, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, sun is still way too hot, but at least it's going. I have my cheesy frank on the fire. Let's see if we can start turning them. Yes, we can. I don't want them to burn. But I do want them to like be heated up everywhere. Okay, the side ones, they're doing nothing. But it's fine. We will do that. Okay. Anyway, so... I have my dogs going and I'm playing with my big pickled steel knife. Big knives are cool. We already spoke about this. They always say, no, they never say that. You can do more things with a big knife than with a small knife. If you are carving little necklaces or whatnot, fine. Take a small knife. If you want to open packages the whole day, small knife's fine. But if you want to do like, well, for this situation, you could take like a, I don't know, a sharpened nail. Well, your nail. But um, in life, I don't know, bigger knives just seem more useful to me. But that's me. So, carry what you want to carry. Okay, I think I'm done with these guys. They're plumped up and they look ready to eat. So, tomorrow I'll show you something smaller than this beast of a knife again i love this thing um so i'll show you a little one that you can do all kinds of things with actually the one i'm going to show you tomorrow is like a budget um pickled steel what do you call it the budget pickled steel titanium knife so we'll do that tomorrow so for now i'm done i'm not going to show you me being an idiot while i'm watching rugby um, and all of those things. Yeah, so let's call it. All of you stay safe, happy. Have a good one. Goodbye.